as those companies succeed and we our, our goal is to make as many of them successful as possible um, as those companies continue to exceed and they, they are Hello and welcome to our Bionix interview. Bionix is an online peer-to-peer -peer platform for unlisted licensing and collaborative partnerships. Uh, in other words, Bionix provides a user-friendly infrastructure for preclinical and clinical stage biotech companies to display their novel compounds available for licensing and co-development partnerships on a global scale. On the other hand, the platform offers pharmaceutical companies a direct access to such innovative compounds which will enable them to fill their R&D pipeline. I am pleased today to have our guest, Executive Chairman and Founder of Defined Health, now known as Cello of Bioconsulting, Ed Zeitzman. Dear Ed, please let me introduce you with few words and Cello of Bioconsulting. Thank you. Uh, founded more than 25 years ago, Cello of Bioconsulting is a leading pharmaceutical Bi biotech and pharmaceutical business development strategy firm whose clients include a mix of pharma, biotech investment companies based in US, Europe, Asia, Israel. In 2017, Ed led the sale of Defined Health to Cello Health. He possesses vast knowledge of pharmaceutical and biotechnology industry, uh, accumulated over Defined Health more than two decades of consultancy. Ed is a well recognized speaker on industry issues, especially related to licensing and business development field. He has spoken over the past 20 years to a large audience at Defined Health Cancer Progress Conference and numerous industry conferences. It has presented targeted strategy briefings to numerous board of directors, executive management committees, and licensing and business development teams of large biotech pharma companies, as well as leading life sciences venture capital firm. Ed serves as a venture advisor to the Israel Biotech Fund, is on the board of the directors of Biotech Pharma, is a recipient of the Frank Berners Mentoring Award and member of the Licensing Executive Society and the New York Pharma Forum. He is a graduate of New York University. In few weeks, Cello Bioconsulting is hosting the 30th Annual Cancer Progress Conference from May 7 to 8 in New York City, which is the primary cancer conference for industry leaders. So please welcome dear Ed. I would be very, very curious to know uh, the story about Cello Hot Pile Consulting, a previously defined thought. Tell us more about the company, vision, and values. Thank you. Thank you, Simba, very, very much. So um, let me start with um, Cello Health Bioconsulting. And actually, right now, you'll read Cello Health Consult Bioconsulting, previously known as Defined Health. Exactly. So for many people recognize the name Defined Health as a preeminent strategy consulting firm, particularly focused on early stage biotech companies. Um, our key differentiator is the fact that we combine strategy with science, or we bring the strategy to the science. Um, we have a focus in the practice of working very, very extensively with early stage companies. In many cases, these are companies that are preclinical stage. They haven't yet reached a clinic. In some cases, they are, they are into phase one, but the vast majority of companies we work with are pre-proof of concept. That is a time in a company's evolution when it is critical to be able to make decisions strategically to drive value in the organization and to drive the value of the company. Um, these, these decisions include understanding in an objective way the value of the platform, where to translate that therapeutic value, what indications to be seeking, what are the broad issues that will be represented by the market access and reimbursement environment that we increasingly are facing, and gets more and more challenging every day. So a wealth of, of issues need to be considered by science-based companies 
pretty much right out of the starting gate, and that's our business. Um, Chell Health um, is a firm that is a, as you, you pointed out, a global firm um, that is well established in providing professional services across the spectrum of, of functions in pharmaceutical companies. Um, Cello has very large um, um, offerings in medical communications in particular and in market research and also has a consulting group based out of the UK that focuses on late stage um, companies. Pharmaceutical companies are already on market, companies preparing to go to market and works pretty extensively with companies that are post proof of concept. So it's a wonderful marriage when Cello came to us and proposed that we be a part of them. We've been excited to be part of them for a little over two years now, and really looking at pushing forward this vision together of the early stage, our focus on the early stage biotech, and, and as those companies succeed, and we, our, our goal is to make as many of them successful as possible, um, as those companies continue to exceed, and they, they are the for, having the fortunate um, situation of getting closer to market, um, there'll be a seamless transition to our to our colleagues. So it's a um, it's that that's a bit of the vision for yeah. for where we are, um, and a bit of a thought about you know where we hope to be going. Great, great. It's actually um, very interesting to know like uh, uh, Cello Hold. Uh, I, I I believe it's uh, over 500 people. It's pretty big uh, and well recognized as well. And uh, in US, uh, a lot of people knew uh, Defined Hold as a, as you mentioned, you know, focus more biotech industry. But uh, as you mentioned, I, I believe uh, now uh, both companies can uh, kind of uh, syner get a synergy really from each other expertise. And uh, yeah, it uh, also covers the clients that came to the early stage to chill out bioconsulting, then later on, even in the commercial area, they can be stay under the same uh, Roof, right it's always correct yeah that, that makes also I think in now a little bit shifting uh, consulting uh, uh, industry area pretty much competitive because as you see recent mergers in this area it keeps uh, cello out uh, overall with the acquisition of uh, defined out on the real competitive uh, yes correct so uh, then I'll, I'll try to like a little bit uh, that you uh, emphasize more like what makes different Cello Bioconsulting. Is there something else that you can add like to make that sure. really for our audience more clear? Sure, I'd, I'd like to. Um, you know, like many consulting firms, um, we use, many consulting firms use similar tools, okay, to, to go about their work and produce their analysis. Um, we use all the tools that, that consulting firms normally do. We conduct extensive market research. We have substantial outreach to key opinion leaders across pretty much every therapeutic space. We anchor that in about 25 years of experience that's deep in particular therapeutic areas and wide across the therapeutic space. We're incredibly knowledgeable about pipeline, about competitive situations. So we really do leverage a tremendous knowledge-based platform. But I don't think that's what makes us different, although I think that makes us strong. What makes us different is, is the unique, or at least highly unusual focus, client-centric focus, in working with early stage science-based companies. So our company is staffed very extensively scientifically. Most of our senior leadership, with notable exception being me, um, most of our senior leadership has come up through, um, um, through the bench, um, worked for biotech companies, worked in academia, um, and, and is very, very, very scientifically um, deep and scientifically sophisticated. This allows us to be able to speak scientific language very early in the, in the evolution of our client companies. It's not unusual for us, for instance, although it would be unusual for many firms to be involved with companies literally straight out of the initial funding round. Right. When yeah. the science has been vetted, the management team may have been vetted by the investors, but the strategy has not been established and it hasn't been thought through. Those are the critical moments where value can start to be created or value can frankly be lost. 
And we believe our focus on that, our laser-like focus on the early stage of these companies' evolution is truly differentiating. Um, we also think that the idea of being able to, in, to, to get people to understand, to get the, not only the, the, our clients to understand, but ultimately to, to be the, the force that sits between the companies and their challenge to raise the valuation of those companies prior to the next financing round, it is very, very, very helpful to have the degree of strategic sophistication that we have and we can bring to that task. Yeah, that's really great. Uh, let me also add from my side, uh, from outside of the company, uh, what in my belief differentiates Coachella Bio Consulting. I mean, I know a couple of very large, maybe the largest uh, uh, consulting companies in the industry and most of them, I don't think they really provide as much strategic from very early stage uh, direction and uh, really support as the Cello Bio Consulting does. That's my uh, belief. I think uh, that can also confirm a lot of uh, your uh, previous clients. Yeah, absolutely, Sabat. It's it's absolutely the case. Um, um, there are a couple of other things that I think are probably important to point out. Um, one of them is is again, and I mentioned this before, but to expound on this for a minute, the deep both breadth and depth of experience across the therapeutic space. Um, oncology is these days, and it probably shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, our largest therapeutic area. Um, we have a deep-seated base of expertise in oncology that practice is led and anchored by Jeff Bachman, um, who has been um, one of the thought leaders um, in immuno-oncology, uh, particularly with, with issues to strategy um, from, the, from the early days of immuno-oncology, um, pre-pharma companies realizing they all had to wrestle with immuno-oncology strategy. Um, we're doing the same thing, however, right now in a practice we call advanced therapeutics, which is focused on, on helping gene therapy companies, cell therapy companies, companies that are pursuing unconventional or non-traditional, let's just say, therapeutic platforms to develop the next generation of therapy. They all pose issues. They all pose strategic, strategic challenges. Um, that come on very, very early in development, whether it be a, a rare disease company that's trying to focus um, on where it's going to get its next generation of, of programs from, trying to understand um, the impact of some of these new therapeutic platforms in the area of rare disease, for instance. So we continue to focus on building depth in these practices. But one of the things that's really differentiating is the senior leadership team here. The senior leadership team here has worked together for a very, very long time. Um, it includes not only Jeff Bachman, um, but Mike Rice, our lead of our, our, our therapeutic area. Obviously, Ginger Johnson, who is our CEO, but headed up our, our CNS area for many, many years. And we have th deep therapeutic area leadership, deeply experienced in all of the therapeutic areas. Um, and I, th I think that's um, more than a little bit differentiating. It's a powerful team that works together. Yes, yes. And I think um, that's the most important assets of the consulting firms, uh, the people. And I believe uh, by being acquired from Cello Health, uh, define Health uh, philosophy and really a human value is staying with that. It has been not disrupted. And if it was changed, that it changed more adding value to this uh, expertise that you have in house. I completely agree. Uh, so as we're speaking about, uh, uh, so core, one of the core activities, uh, uh, oncology uh, of uh, Cello Bioconsulting, uh, we know also that uh, you are, as I mentioned, organizing now uh, in a few weeks, uh, Cancer Progress, one of the primary leading uh, oncology conference for industry leaders. And can you a little bit tell about this story behind the that? How you guys got such a conference merged with Defined Health Business and what's like all this, uh, you know, aspiration around that? Sure, Sambad, I would love to tell that story. Um, so actually the history of Cancer Progress, which is, um, as, as you pointed out, um, an annual conference that pulls together one of the most um, unusual 
and I think powerful mixes of attendees and panelists from different elements of stakeholders within the cancer universe. So not only many of the household name KOLs in both immunology and oncology in general, um, but academics, um, payers, um, care providers, patient advocacy, advocacy groups, um, pretty much every stakeholder that's involved in, in cancer to really make a dialogue over two days, over two days of deeply scientific and strategic panel discussions about progress that we're making in the field, what are the limitations to the progress we're making in the field, what are the realistic timelines for, for, for tackling some of those challenges. Um, it's just, it, it's a fantastic meeting. Um, before the meeting became part of Defined Health and then part of Cello Health Bioconsulting, we were actually frequent attendees of this meeting. Um, we had attended it every year, and we had noted um, um, with, great, with great joy that some of the um, world leaders in biotech, um, who is our target audience, were actually sitting in the audience with us. Um, so we realized this was a special meeting, and when the opportunity came to acquire the meeting, from the company that was running the meeting for more than 20 years at the time, we jumped at the opportunity, and we're thrilled to have it be part of our part of our uh, mix. Um, but this is a it's a big undertaking. It's an exciting undertaking. Um, it involves a lot of different people in the company, and it showcases, I think, a little bit about the way we think and our thought leadership in what is our largest therapeutic area, which is oncology, and it's about half our business, and also the most important therapeutic area in terms of investors and pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, knowing that uh, you had uh, having such a deep expertise on licensing and business development, which is, I think, one of the core uh, business activities or early stage biotech companies, uh, maybe a little bit can tell on that aspect as well as what are, what, what, what's going to audience expect uh, 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 from that part so they can come there, they will be inspired, they are going to uh, contribute to their licensing and business development activities. Sure. One thing I think it's important, very important to point out in case I forget, um, so I'll do it right away, is that this meeting is highly interactive. Um, so despite the fact that the meeting is not set up specifically for a licensing and business development crowd, there, are, there is a pretty significant representation from licensing and business development, both in biotech and in, and in large pharma, as, you know, both in the audience and on the panels. Um, there's ample opportunity to network with some of the um, really established thought leaders in the space, and obviously to take time to set up meetings in and around the conference, which, which is held in New York, which is a very good place to set up meetings. So, um, so we... Um, um, from the from that that's from the from specifically from the licensing and business development standpoint, it is so important to understand what the themes are, what the themes are, of what is happening next. Um, where are we going next? For instance, all of these categories. Where are we going in adoptive cellular therapy next? Where are the next? series of, of innovation going to come from? Where's the next deals? Most importantly, what are the large pharma companies thinking? What are they thinking about the space? What are investors thinking about these opportunities? Um, these conversations actually get very, very deep. Um, they get very stimulating. Sometimes they get heated. Um, and I'm actually very pleased to be um, on the uh, morning of day two moderating a panel that we call the value panel, which is actually um, one of the first panels introduced in the in the cancer field to specifically take on the issues of market access, pricing and reimbursement of cancer drugs. Um, in order, because that's an area of the, of the field that as marvelous as, as the science is and as exciting as the progress we're making, what we all of course understand is if we can't get the drugs to the patients and the patients are not able to afford the drugs, then all of this is is not going to be for for any good for for anyone. So um, at the end of the day, I'm really excited about leading that panel with some of the leaders in in that field as well. Yes, that's great. That's absolutely great. So I think we uh, will uh, summarize our discussion uh, as it was planned. Um, uh, I want to also once again mention uh, to our audience that Ed is one of the visionary leaders in the industry that uh, he, he recognizes as a spotter who can really 
see the trends of the industry, where it's heading, and uh, uh, how it's going to be impact over all the biotech pharma industry. So uh, knowing this uh, adds leadership in the industry and the, overall the cancer progress as a conference, I think it's really amazing place to be. Uh, as uh, we know, small company uh, hearing from our own uh, biotech clients. Um, I want to once again uh, remind our audience uh, that uh, the 30 annual Cancer Progress Conference going to be from May 7 to 8 in New York City. It's one of the primary cancer conference for industry leaders. And uh, that's going to be wonderful uh, meetings and active discussions. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for everybody being today with us. Uh, dear Ed, thank you. We are really delighted, delighted to have you today and see your leadership vision to this wonderful discussion. Thank you, Simbad. I really appreciate it. I appreciated the opportunity to share some thoughts with you and with the audience, and I look forward to seeing as many as possible of you at our Cancer Progress meeting. Thanks. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much.